Greetings everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Earth's Medicine, where we explore the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. If you're new here and you like to learn about the medicinal uses of plants that are grown in Jamaica, then consider subscribing. It's totally free and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of our uploads. Today we're going to be talking about asthma plant, a very powerful herb that many people in Jamaica think is just an annoying weed, when in fact it is widely used in folklore medicine across various cultures to treat a variety of common ailments. So without further delay, let's get straight into the video. You're now looking at a plant that is commonly referred to as snakeweed or milkweed by Jamaicans. In other parts of the world, it has numerous common names, both in English and in other languages. In English, it is known as asthma plant and asthma weed in other countries, among other common names, but the preferred common name is garden spurge. Now, in the Philippines, it is commonly referred to as Tawa Tawa, and many people in other countries also use this common name. It got the name asthma plant and asthma weed because of its anti-asthmatic activity. As a result of the relaxation effect it has on the bronchial tubes and a depressant action on respiration. Now the Latin name is Euphorbia herta and it is a part of the Euphorbia CE plant family. And the genus is called Euphorbia. It is native to tropical America, but it can be found growing in many different countries around the world. It's a creeping to ascending herb. The stems may be green when immature and change to a reddish or purplish color as the plant matures. The stems tend to also be semi-erect and they produce a milky sap. The plant can grow between 15 to 50 centimeters tall. The leaves are oblong to lanceolate in shape with a pointed tip and a finely toothed margin. And they're also oppositely arranged on the stems. Now the upper surface of the leaves are often reddish or purple blotched and the underside is pale green. The flowers are small and greenish to brown to pinkish in color. They are formed in clusters. In Jamaica, this herb can be found growing wildly and organically all over the place. So you'll find it in people's yards, along roadsides, and also in other green spaces. <laughs> to make medicine, people use the roots and the parts that grow above the ground. In Jamaican folklore medicine, people take fresh or dried leaves and use these to make tea, which is taken for asthma and to help control high blood pressure. People also apply the milky sap externally to remove warts from the skin. In other parts of the world, the plant is brewed into a tea and taken to treat a host of health issues, like for example, anxiety and stress. They use it for diarrhea, dysentery, intestinal parasites, asthma, bronchitis, hay fever, and the flu. People also use it for athlete's foot. They use it for dengue fever, malaria, and the production of blood platelets. People also use the plant externally too in other cultures. They put the milky sap on ice dyes. They make a poultice from the leaves and place it on boils. They use the plant as airdrops. For snake bites, they cover the crushed plant onto the ear of the bite. They gargle with the tea to heal oral ulcers and they also apply the leaf powder to rashes, boils and wounds. Just some words of caution guys. This herb isn't recommended for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Using it for more than 7 days consecutively isn't recommended. A break of at least 7 days is recommended before reusing it 
and internal use of this plant can cause increased urinary frequency. That's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.